specimen collection and transportation are critical considerations because any results the laboratory generates is limited by the quality of the specimen and its condition on arrival in the laboratory. So today we will learn how to send proper uh, learn about proper specimen collection and transportation. So in the pathology lab, uh, we send surgical specimens, that is the biopsy specimens, large biopsy specimens, and small biopsy specimens. Then we have cytological specimens, and uh, we made uh, slides in the, our office, and then we fix it and send to the laboratory. Our FNAC, the superficial uh, cytology, superficial subcutaneous lumps, uh, patients are uh, sent to the laboratories and where the cytology uh, slides are made and they are being interpreted. So we take one by one. Information must be provided for all specimens, that is patient identification. Then identification of individual requesting examination. It is very important because if a laboratory needs further information, can uh, contact the person sending the uh, specimen. Procedure date, adequate clinical history and physical examination. Uh, organs resected are biopsied. So the name of the organ from where uh, the biopsy is taken is very important. Orientation if required. It is also very important because sometimes uh, specimens cannot be oriented alone by the histopathologist. And then intraoperative finding. If it is a open uh, biopsy specimen, open surgery, uh, surgical procedure is done, intraoperative findings are very important. Then prior surgery or pathologic diagnosis. If there is, uh, you are re uh, the specimen, there is uh, previous, uh, what are the findings of previous biopsy and if any treatment uh, patient has taken. As uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy, there is uh, treatment of the uh, tumors uh, given to reduce the bulk of the uh, tumor. So sometimes there is only necrosis which is left behind. So such a treatment is given must be mentioned and also mentioned if you required rapid diagnosis. So we now take one by one. So some uh, specimens they also required for example endometrium the, uh, for proper dating of the phases uh, it uh, must be labeled uh, LMP last menstrual period and also the exogenous hormone intake because exogenous hormone take uh, is uh, cause many uh, structural architectural uh, changes in endometrium. Then liver biopsy if you are sending liver biopsy so must always uh, serology must be accompanied because liver biopsy is always interpreted, uh, interpreted in the light of serology. Then if mastectomy specimen then uh, must uh, because there is must be incisional or exceedal biopsy so always mention the previous biopsy report and any neoadjuvant chemotherapy which is given to the patient must be mentioned. Then uh, while a surgeon uh, should uh, always keep in mind uh, if uh, when taking biopsy that uh, he or she should avoid mechanical trauma. Tissue is removed gently to avoid trauma to the specimen caused by crushing or tearing. This applies both during surgery and during any further dissection that may be required for of a fresh specimen. Specimen is damaged before fixation by crushing or tearing during removal. And uh, when the uh, histopathologist uh, makes uh, uh, cannot make proper diagnosis because uh, these uh, bluish uh, tearing effect uh, obscure the uh, morphology. So it is uh, for the surgeon, uh, they must 
should avoid uh, mechanical trauma. Then prevent specimen drying. Specimen is not allowed to dry out prior to fixation. If immediate fixation is not possible, gauze moistened with saline can be used to prevent this. And specimen is left on absorbent surface for some time prior to fixation lead to drying artifact. So uh, it should be avoided and it after biopsy it should be immediately put in a proper fixative which is uh, commonly 10% formalin is used. Then avoid heat damage, some surgeons use cautery. Uh, as far as possible, avoid local heat damage to specimens. Some damage by cautery may be unavoidable, but any unnecessary local heat applied to tissue will cause damage. Fresh tissue is particularly susceptible. So when we see uh, the heat damaged, uh, tissue under microscope, its morphology is distorted and it appears dark pink in color. Ensure prompt fixation. Fixation is always carried out promptly if it is necessary that a specimen remains unfixed for a short period of time, it should be refrigerated at 4 degrees centigrade. Fixation is delayed, degradation of tissue elements commences as soon as the specimen is deprived of a blood supply and sometimes if it is left unfixed outside uh, it leads to autolysis and when we see autolytic changes in uh, the tissue they devoid of nuclei there is only ghosty outline so it is uh, there is a wastage of specimen and histopathologist cannot make a diagnosis. Then use sufficient fixative and a suitable container. An adequate volume of fixative, uh, at least 20 is to 1 ratio is used in a container of an appropriate size. This avoids distortion of the fresh specimen and ensures good quality fixation. Specimen are sometimes squashed into a smaller container with insufficient fixative to cover the specimen surface. Sometimes people send uh, specimen in syringes and small containers without proper uh, fixative. So it is uh, sometimes in the laboratory they are autolyzed and they are difficult to take out from the container. So. Uh, use large containers for the larger specimen so the fixative can properly fix the tissue. Then expedite large specimen fixation. The specimen dimensions allow rapid penetration of the fixative. Large specimen should be rapidly transported to the lab to allow grossing. Large specimens are left in fixative for an extended time prior to grossing. The center of the specimen may remain unfixed and the tissue can become markedly distorted. So to avoid this, there should be a book slicing. So larger specimen should be book sliced and then put into the larger container. So uh, fixative can penetrate into the deeper layer as well. So the tissue should not be distorted and also in this way, uh, it can, uh, fixative can penetrate into the center of the tissue. Then proper orientation of the specimen. If you want that the, uh, you know, the margins of a lien in the skin or any tissue, so label it with the sutures so that you can get uh, more information so different sutures, different colors, uh, different lengths can be used. Uh, so like uh, this one is a skin ligand. So there is a superior margin shows a long suture at 12 o'clock and sh short stitch at 9 o'clock. So in this way, uh, proper uh, orientation is done and you get the best information from a histopathologist. So some uh, mm, clinician, they divide the biopsy specimen. Please don't do that because 
it is your right that you can ask for second opinion but send a whole specimen to one laboratory and then you can ask for blocks and slides because they are usually in pathology laboratories they are kept for 10 years uh, so you can uh, send a whole specimen to one laboratory and if you are not satisfied with the diagnosis you can ask for uh, blocks and slides and take a second opinion then uh, as i mentioned earlier there are types of cytology samples exfoliative cytology uh, fine needle aspiration cytology and body fluids exfoliative cytology usually pap smears and sputum slides are made by the clinicians for the uh, fnac superficial lumps are sent uh, patients are sent to pathology lab and body fluids are uh, sent in the tubes and then centrifuge and smears are made uh, for uh, pap smears uh, always use 95 percent ethanol and uh, as a fixative uh, ethanol should be um, present by the gynecologist when she is taking uh, pap smear it should be immediately immersed in the fixative otherwise there are uh, drying effects and uh, drying artifacts they uh, lead to misdiagnosis misinterpretation and also made thin smears because thick smears they uh, are rejected then uh, FNAC, FNAC for uh, if there is a lump which is uh, uh, lump is different from the swelling if it's if it is diffuse swelling uh, there is no need to send the patient for FNAC because FNAC is done for the subcutaneous superficial lumps and deep FNAC you can ask for uh, fixative and uh, slides and it should be done under medical supervision uh, deeper um, tissue can be approached by ultrasound or CT guided uh, uh, FNAC and uh, in it should be if you are doing the liver or pancreas proper uh, coagulation studies should be done and uh, in a lab and if the patient can undergo unexpected uh, reaction shock so it is not a OPD uh, procedure so always send patient which have lumps not just swellings so this was all about uh, specimen transportation and collection I hope uh, I able to convey my message uh, if any questions more than welcome. Thanks for your patience.